Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we are taking a look at our second example of a ceratopsid dinosaur, the Pachyrhinosaurus. The Pachyrhinosaurus roamed Alaska and Canada during the late Cretaceous period around 70 million years ago. It could grow as large as 8 metres long and weigh as much as 4 tonnes. Although its fossils were found in the 1880s, it wasn't until the 1940s that they actually got any attention. Examples of its remains were found by Charles M. Sternberg in 1946 in Alberta, Canada, and the genus was named by him in 1950. Pachyrhinosaurus means thick-nosed lizard and relates to the large bony growth on top of its snout, called a boss. It had one large boss above its nose and two smaller ones above its eyes. This boss would have been covered by a thick padded sheath. The pachyrhinos had these bosses instead of the horns that you find on other ceratops dinosaurs like Triceratops. Although it did still have some small horns around the edge of its frill. And back in the 1970s it was wondered if the bosses were the base of a huge horn that had broken off during fossilization, and some reconstructions show just this. But many skulls have since been found, and none have shown to have these huge horns. Some scientists believe that the boss was used in butting contests between rival males, in a similar way to musk oxen today. However, many pachyrhino fossils show evidence of broken ribs, some of which show healing. It may be that rather than head-on collisions, the pachyrhinosaurus targeted the rival sides. These bosses are also used by paleontologists to differentiate the three different species that have been named, but to most of us they probably all look the same. The most significant discovery relating to the Pachyrhinosaurus was the excavation of the Pipestone Creek bone bed discovered by Al Lacusta in the early 1970s, but it was not properly excavated until the late 1980s. But this excavation yielded 3,500 Pachyrhinosaurus bones, as well as 14 skulls. These bones represent individuals of all ages, from fully grown adults to juveniles, suggesting that Ceratopsians, like Pachyrhinosaurus, moved around in herds, possibly as protection against large Tyrannosaurid predators like Albertosaurus, that would have been the apex predator of the time. One explanation for this bone bed occurring is that the Pachyrhinosauruses were crossing a river that may have been swollen with floodwater, resulting in treacherous conditions that claim the lives of many of the herd. The Pachyrhinosaurus has seen a rise in popularity with the public over the last few years. As I mentioned earlier, there are three named species of Pachyrhinosaurus, two of which were discovered relatively recently, one in 2008 and the other in 2013. This, along with starring roles in Disney's Dinosaur, released in 2000, also appearing in one of the Land Before Time animated films, and was the main character in the 2013 film Walking with Dinosaurs, the movie. Although it is doubtful it will ever surpass the popularity of the Triceratops. But here at the zoo, I am very happy to count it among my exhibits. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, I really hope you've enjoyed it, and you've learned something new. Please leave a like and a comment if you've enjoyed it, and come back next time for more Extinct Creature Specials. Thank you, and goodbye.